Greetings. This week, we're taking a few moments every day just to talk about God and the existence of God and creation and so on. And I want us to consider another reason why we believe in the existence of God, another quote-unquote evidence or the case for the existence of God, the Creator God. Romans chapter 1, verse 20, the Bible says, For since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power in God did, so that they are without excuse. So people question us, you know, how do you know there is a God? Here's one answer. We see the invisible attributes of God in creation. So what do you mean? The invisible attributes of God. God, the Bible teaches us, is omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's all-knowing. He's great, intelligent, all-powerful. We see these attributes in creation. Design attests to a designer. You know, when we see things that are designed, we immediately ask the question, who designed it? If you look at a watch, whether an old fashioned wristwatch or a modern day digital watch, and you see what it can do, our immediate reaction is, who designed it? If somebody said, well, it just happened, it all just came together over a few billion years, you're not gonna accept that. You know, if you have a box of Scrabble letters and you keep throwing it, no matter how many times you throw it, they're not going to come together beautifully, intelligently into a novel. It's not going to happen. We know that. And so design implies there is a designer. There's intelligence. Somebody caused who is an intelligent being designed everything. And we see intelligence in all of creation. And so we ask these questions, can chance produce intelligence? Can accident result in purpose? Can non-life create life? Can something come out of nothing? Can chaos produce order? And we know it doesn't happen that way. So the fact that our universe is so designed is telling us there has to be a designer and that designer is God. The other aspect that we must keep in mind is that matter by itself cannot take on the kind of life we see, that it includes reason and consciousness. Non-life cannot take on life the way we see it. And we humans are born with consciousness, with intelligence, with the rationality. And so we ask the other Question, can lifeless matter produce consciousness and intelligence the way we see it? Can matter somehow by itself acquire the ability of consciousness, morality, and rationality? No, that was given by the designer. The invisible attributes of God are seen in creation. Design attests to the great designer. Let's pray. Lord, we look at creation all around us, and we recognize intelligence, we see design, and all of that, all of that telling us that you are, O oh God, the great designer. We honor you and worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.